by 8. This is lesson 7.8 in our in the textbook we're following. So our, don't forget, all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. And so what strategies can we use to divide by 8 on this? All right, and there's your common core strand. So here's a problem here. Uh, Anthony has 32 bricks and plans to stack them 8 bricks high. So how many stacks can he make? Okay, so, uh, so obviously we're going to be doing 32 divided by 8 here. So uh, what will Anthony do with the 32 bricks? Well, he's going to make stacks of 8 bricks high on each, uh, out of the 32 bricks. So here's one way we can use uh, repeated subtraction. So we did this in an earlier lesson. So we'll start with uh, the 32 and then we subtract 8 and we continue to subtract 8 until we finally reach 0. And then we count the number of times we subtracted 8. Okay, let me move that up right there. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to subtract 8. There's uh, 32 minus 8 is 24. And now that's the, the number of times that we subtracted 8 is 1 here. So now we're going to take this 24 and subtract 8 again. So 24 minus 8, this is going to give us our second time we subtracted 8. 24 minus 8 is 16. Then we'll take that 16 and then subtract 8 again. Okay, so 16 minus 8 is uh, 8. So this is the third time we subtracted 8. We subtracted it 1, 2, 3. So now we're going to take this next uh, 8 right here and subtract 8 again. And finally, we're going to get 0 right here. So it took us four times to subtract 8. So we subtracted 8 four times so he can make four stacks of bricks. Okay, that's one way we can do 32 divided by 8. All right. So uh, we can write 32 divided by 8 this way, and it's going to equal 4. Or we can write 32 divided by 8 equals this way. And don't forget, the 4 goes right above the 2 right there, okay? So we can uh, write it that way. All right, so other ways is we can use a related multiplication fact. So 32 divided by 8 equals blank is the same thing as that blank number times 8 equals 32, okay? We can just reverse it around. This 8 times whatever this number is is going to equal that 32. Well, now we know it's 4. but uh, so, so we can think what number uh, completes the multiplication fact. Well, 4 does. 4 times 8 equals 32. So if you know your multiplication facts, it's the inverse relation or the opposite relation of uh, division. Okay, so 32 divided by 8 equals 4. Okay, so just like we did before, 32 divided by 8 equals 4. Or this way, 32 divided by 8 equals 4, whichever way. Okay, so how does knowing 4 times 8 help us find 32 divided by 8? Well, uh, multiplication and division are opposite or they're inverse relations of each other. So knowing what 4 times 8 is 32 is the related multiplication of the division problem. 32 divided by 8 equals 4. Four. I made a mistake. There should be a 4 right there. All right. Uh, I make mistakes all the time. I had a parent just email me of a mistake I made. I make them all the time. I make them in my classroom all the time. All right. Uh, let's, uh, here's an example. Find the unknown divisor. So here's another way. We can use a multiplication table here. So Anthony has 16 bricks this time, and he wants to stack these in stacks of 2. Okay, so how many stacks will he have? He stacks them in stacks of 2. So this is going to be 16 divided by what number equals 2? Okay, well, if you don't know what that is, what you can do is you can think of the re related multiplication uh, fact and use the multiplication table over there to think of what number times 2 equals 16. Okay, so this number times this 2 is going to equal 16. So here's our multiplication table right here. So step 1 is to uh, find the factor of 2. So we're going to, here's the factor of 2 right here. So we'll use that one right here. And then, oh, let me move that up right there. Okay, and then we scroll down to find the product 16. So what times 2 equals 16? So scroll down to the 16 down there. Okay, so there it is right there. And then now we just scroll over and look to the left to find the unknown factor. And so it's going to be that 8 right there. Okay, let me move that up. So the unknown factor is 8. So that means um, 2 equals 16 divided by 8 right there. Okay, so 8 times 2 equals 16. So the equation is true right there. All right, so Anthony will have, uh, he's going to have 8 stacks of bricks on that, okay? All right, so uh, explain how to use the multiplication table to find the unknown dividend for uh, what number divided by 8 equals 5. Okay, well, what we can do is use the related multiplication fact. 5 times 8 equals what? And then use the multiplication table. So go over to 5. Okay, so here's 5 right here. 
and then uh, and then go down on this column down to eight and you can go five times eight and just uh, scroll it over and we get 40 right there okay so here's five you guys know how to use the multiplication table times eight equals 40 right there all right you guys take care